Jack Nolan at the Culver Academies with Irish head coach Brian Kelly, the second on-field practice of training camp in the books. I'm not sure I've ever seen you happier after day one with the effort of your team than you were yesterday, but today the grind sets in. Yeah, you know, so we haven't been training for two and a half hours. You know, that's what you're out here a long period of time. And, you know, their training is about an hour in the summer. So, you know, there is an acclimatization period where, you know, you got to fight through it. You know, we got to have some grit today. And uh, it's a great lesson for our football team and, and for them to embrace it. This is hard. You know, it's not easy to be out here and it's close to, as you know, about 100 degrees here on the field. But that's that's what you make champions of. How do you think they responded? I think they understand what to do. And, and uh, being in this environment, whenever we've presented something to this group, they've attacked it the next day in the right fashion. So I expect them to come back tomorrow with a lot more knowledge of how to attack a practice under these kinds of conditions. Probably the biggest rule change in college football this year is the fact that any player on the roster can now play in four yep. games from the first game to the bowl game without losing eligibility. Yep. Is that impacting what you're doing down here at all? Oh, certainly. You know, we want to spend more time with our young players, getting them involved. We finished today with our freshmen and young players getting some uh, uh, some 11 on 11 work. We've done that uh, the last couple of days. So absolutely, it's um, it's incumbent upon building the depth in your roster um, that these scholarship players give a chance uh, for you in, in, in the season. This is hard. Fans may not realize how hard this really is. And there's no wins. There's no losses. There's usually there's not an MVP award. There's no stats. But you have decided you're going to go back and look at the film now. And each day you're going to name an offensive, defensive, and special teams player of the day. Why are you doing that? I just want to let our people know what's going on. You know, we don't give a report each and every day. But I think it's important to see who's making that kind of progress that everybody's hoping for. Yesterday it was Chase Claypool on offense. Loved his focus. Um, really starting to do the things that we, we want our players to do relative to not just talent, but the traits necessary to be successful. Uh, defensively, Dalen Hayes was, was outstanding in what he was doing. A lot more confident as a football player. He's going to be difficult to defend. We, we had to get him off the field here because we, we had to play with a freshman uh, with the second group, and we couldn't get any plays off. So that's a good thing. And then special teams, Jane and Elliott, bring such an energy and attitude um, to our special teams, which we need. So we'll go back, watch the film, as you said, and we'll decide who those three guys again tonight. All right, Coach, thank you. And you can see who those three guys are if you follow Coach Kelly on Twitter. We'll be here after every practice of training camp and all these reports being brought to you by our friends at St. Joseph Health System.